My name is Katherine Lapointe Homer and I'm the owner of Lionheart Graphics. I graduated from Syracuse in the, the illustration program in 2010 and since then I've kind of moved through different things trying to find what what type of art works best for me. I've been doing the digital travel posters for probably four or five years now and I've just started doing pastel art about two or three years ago. That's most of what I do now is, is a lot of landscape painting and pastels. Really it started when I started traveling more and uh, visiting the national parks is when I really got interested in more landscape and uh, nature type of artwork. That's translated into both my travel posters which tend to show like the natural beauty of a particular region and then the landscapes. Either I'll, I'll take photos while I'm out if I don't have time to paint or if I have the time then I like to paint right on location. It's something that I've done a lot of this summer while we've all been stuck indoors. It's been nice to get outdoors and do some painting. I tend to switch back and forth a lot between digital art and pastels these days. I've kind of noticed that no matter what I happen to be doing at the time, I usually have two kind of opposite things that I'm working on. Lately it's been digital art, which is like very clean, sit at my desk with my cup of coffee and I can do it right there, and then the pastels where I like to get outside, they're very messy and grimy. It's nice that when I get sick of one thing, then I can switch to something that's kind of different, and that's been kind of the trend no matter what I've been working on. My art has definitely gotten more focused on nature in the last couple of years. I grew up in the North Country, but I was never really into the outdoors when I was growing up. I wanted to get away and get to a city. That really changed when I started traveling and I started seeing all the beautiful places that you can visit across the country. I started to take more notice of all the beautiful places that were right outside my door. Ten years ago, you couldn't have caught me doing a landscape. I, didn't, I wanted nothing to do with it. My artwork was much more focused on storybook, narrative kind of artwork. I've really refocused lately on doing more quiet pieces that are more about light, and color, and texture. I've really been enjoying painting in the Adirondacks this year. It's not that far. I can drive there and back in a day or even in just an afternoon. It's got so much to offer. I've really been taking the opportunity this summer to explore places in the Adirondacks that I've never been to before, some new trails or new waterfalls, and it's just everything is gorgeous. I felt pretty fortunate during this sort of pandemic quarantine that I live someplace where there's so much nature all around me. I can just go out, I can go a mile down the road or even just to my own front yard and find something beautiful to paint, which not everybody can say the same. So this is a piece I did probably the first year that I started using pastels. Um, that winter I was trying to find beauty in the cold, stark winter. I really have trouble finding inspiration in the winter sometimes. I put a lot of effort into getting outdoors that winter and finding things that I thought were beautiful that I could paint. So this is um, a 9 by 12 pastel that's um, framed to 12 by 16 and that should be available for sale through the Arts Council. I also have some of my work on the wall here that I've just put up to show off. This one will also be for sale on the website. This is my favorite subject matter which is trees and this little one that I did plein air at the garlic festival at Bird's Foot Farm. It's just matted and framed to a little 8 by 10 but it's just such a cute little piece. Probably the big one next to it is my favorite piece that I've done so far. Um, it's nice to be able to work large because you get to do all these little details, but it's hard to store, so I, I tend to work smaller most of the time. I couldn't help but frame this one up and get it on the wall because I just love the way it turned out. And then I also wanted to show off a couple of the travel posters that I have for sale on my website. I, a lot of them have been sort of upstate New York themed of all the different regions of New York State. And then I also work with really anyone to do commission posters. So this was done for St. Lawrence University um, and that's for sale in their bookstore. And I've got all kinds of different designs all on my website even if you don't see them in the store. This is 
kind of the more fun part of my job is getting to just paint whatever I want. If you're looking for paintings, then I have them locally at the Tawny in Canton, at Bryan Gallery in uh, Jeffersonville, Vermont, and at Gallery 46 in Lake Placid. And if you're looking for travel posters, I have those in gift shops all across the country, so you can find a map of those on my website at lionheartgraphics.com.